Greetings YouTube. Today I'll be examining a coast knife, uh, lights, knives, multi-tools, the Mini-Tac Advanced Knife Technology Liner Lock, one hand opening, um, sm faster, smoother, safer, lifetime guarantee, and on the back it just tells you how to give you some of the specs on it 7 cr 17 series stainless steel ambidextrous thumb studs uh liner lock for safety with a little register can you register liner lock i guess they did stainless steel frame and g10 handles i'm intrigued about the mini tack name there's nothing tactical about this okay let's let's just be serious I think they put that on there for the audience that likes tactical items, um, but that's just me. It is an open design. Uh, I like the fact that the pillars actually are machined. Oh, well, there's a cat hair on that. Sorry about that. Um, it's one of the, the disadvantages of living in my home. There's cat hairs everywhere. There are G10 scales. The steel liners are uh, acceptable, though smidge on the thin side. Uh, there is a small linear hole, though that's too small for paracord, in my opinion. Even if you strip the paracord innards, I don't think you get a piece of paracord in there. Um, but there are other types of line that you could use to make a, a lanyard if you wanted to, or hook up a keychain or something like that to this. Though it's kind of big for a keychain life, in my opinion. Single position, tip down right hand carry, which I still baffles me because there's plenty of space in here you could have made this ambidextrous at least on the right side because i won't carry this thing i bought this because i wanted to do a review and it was a good price like i paid less than ten dollars or eight or ten dollars for this um and i do uh buy knives specifically for uh for uh, reviews and mix and ambidextrous thumb studs with a stepped down design i happen to really appreciate that design i think it makes it more comfortable um it is a liner lock here it's got decent line uh yeah you get you're at the halfway part the, the fact that the inside edge of the liner lock is just past the halfway mark so you got a nice solid lock up you're not gonna have to worry about that coming out and it is very solid which i appreciate there is jimping here on the uh the thumb uh, on, on the liner lock itself but it's not overly aggressive it's rounded on both sides so it's it's quite comfortable and it's got a pretty nice feel when you close. There's a little bit of a resistance in here. Um, and that's what the knife looks like when it's in the closed position. All right. And you can open. You can, in fact, flip this open. Though I, and, and I did not have to adjust anything because I did not remove the clip. So it came out of the package with the ability to do a thumb flip, which is something else I also appreciate. Uh, eh. Not what I call the best edge in the universe. I mean, I'd cut myself if I pulled my finger across it, but it, 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 it's it's not what I call shaving sharp, and it's very barely falls into the category of uh, of, uh, of usably sharp. But this is a good design for people who don't want an overly large knife. Um, you could, in fact, strip the clip off this and actually make it a pocket knife. This could actually fit in a person's pocket quite comfortably, yeah, especially if you're wearing work pants. Um, and that alone is going to make it attractive. It's not all that heavy. Um, the G10 handles have some tooth, but not a lot. It's, so this, there's no. I won't, you're not going to have to worry about hurting your pants on this when you're if you're actually going to carry this with in, 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 as the pocket clip in your pocket. This isn't going to be tearing up your pants, which is uh, appreciated. The fact that the G10 handles have a nice little bevel around the edges is also a nice touch. There are actually some very nice little touches. The the, the beveling, the the machine uh, pillars. Uh, there are little touches in here, so I think it actually put it above, you know, a, a just a, a cheap, you know, off-the-shelf knife. But uh, it, the blade does not have the best edge. But then again, it is a cheap knife. And I don't know if I have a whole lot of experience with 7CR17 uh, MOV material um, as far as reg, edge contention is, retention is concerned. Um, but it's, uh, it is what it is. And if you're looking for a smaller knife that is comfortable to carry, because it is comfortable in your hand, um, it's a it's a three finger carry, uh, three finger grip. It's not going to be a you're not going to get much else in there. But it's a good size. It's not overly large. It's not going to make anybody nervous if you take it out of the out of your pocket and open it. Um, though you may want to do it with a thumb opening as opposed to a thumb flick. That can make people nervous. Um, but yeah. It's a nice little knife. It's not not all that expensive, so you can pick one of these up, put it in a toolbox, or put it in your in your truck, or your or, or your car, or your pocket. And if you lose it, you're not going to care. 
Um, so sometimes that can be just the kind of knife you're looking for.